when, when you're one wheeling, you're always in between just decking yourself, like falling. You're always in between falls. The best one wheelers I know have the ability to just wipe out and just hop back up like it was nothing. Shit. Hey Dom, so we'll just go slow. Okay. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering if you could talk us through like what you're thinking about when you're racing and if you've got any tips for other racers. So like I think the biggest tip that I would have for any racer coming onto it is like most of your competitors will knock themselves out in a one wheel race. Like your main goal should be riding at a, at a level where you can go fast and you can stay on your board. Because too many people try to go too fast and push the board too hard and wipe out, and they're just out of the race. So they're trying to ride at 100% as fast as they can go, and then they hit a divot or something and they nosedive. And then they're, they're off their board for 15 seconds. And if they just rode 75 to 80%, they would have stayed on their board and gone quicker. Your biggest enemy is almost yourself yeah. a lot of the time. Like, if, if you get in your head and you like are like, man, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can go fast enough to win this. Like you've, you've already lost. Like you gotta be on that star line be like, I can win this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can. And that's what's, that's what's happening. And what do you look for on the trail when, you, when you're going? So I kind of, when I'm looking at a section of trail or something, even on this gravel road, I kind of look at the, the fastest line possible. It's the line that's gonna be the smoothest. I kind of. So what would be the fastest line possible going here? So kind of coming here, I would do, a, do an inside. And then outside. So you're like apexing the corner. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much like, like when you play a Forza or something, like you're in a racing game, that, that's pretty much what you want to do if it's a wide track. So I mean, my race strategy on like a, on like double track versus like fire roads versus my race strategy on like single track, they're, they're a lot different. Cause like on, on like double track, I'm picking like race lines that, uh, that more resemble like car race lines. Like you're apexing corners, you're going inside, outside, or outside than inside. And then you're kind of, you're making your way through the rock gardens and trying to find kind of the quickest line where you're least likely to fall off. And then you're weighing those lines. Like am I, am I at the start of this race? And can I, cause like you're gonna, if you're behind someone and it's the last lap, you're gonna take more risks than at the start, if that yeah. makes sense. And so are you avoiding um, rock gardens where you can? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's kind of the goal. But it all depends on how fast I'm going, where, with the line that I want to get to. Yeah. So I, like here, for example, there's a nice, like, line close into the left bank, and you just come in close to the left bank and bring it around and then swing wide. Like, it, it all depends. Like, if you can avoid, it's obviously better to avoid a rock garden, because then you're less likely to tail slide, like in a race scenario. Yeah. I love punching through rock gardens, but in a race scenario, it's, better to avoid rock gardens because the line is oftentimes faster, smoother. There's less likelihood that you're going to fall. And yeah, but then sometimes there might be a smoother line through it, but the line through the rock garden is faster. Yeah. And it's better to hit the rock garden. So you're constantly like you're weighing the risk that you want to take and the risk that you need to take to do well in the race. Okay. So that's kind of the biggest, the biggest takeaway I would say for like, a, like someone trying to get into ra racing one wheels. It's, it's all really about having fun. Like I, I one wheel race because I really, really enjoy it and I love the competition. I love how I can like push myself on a one wheel. I, I, I just love one wheeling. If you want to race and you, lo you love one wheeling, you want to get into racing, just find a local race and go have, go have a great time. And then like training, like just go, go ride like trails that challenge you and have a bunch of fun on. Oh. I just went through a rock garden. One of those oh man. Dom was talking about it. It really slowed me down. <laughs> also, um, Hey Dom, I noticed like you've got your both arms forward some, sometimes. Um, so people in the States refer to that as, here, let me get flipped around. People in the States refer to that as the Dombey. And uh, whenever I go fast on a one wheel, like, like, 
like I go like this because I can because it kind of it places my shoulders forward yeah. and my hips back. So my my center of gravity is over the wheel. Yeah. And if I need to rapidly move like my my weight over the front, like I need to accelerate, I can bring my hips forward and get a lot of weight, get the center of my like mass yeah. over the wheel as fast as possible. So I can accelerate fast. Cause like I feel like being light has its advantages, but I think being tall is also a big advantage because you can get a lot of weight over the front of the board. And so did they name that after you? Yeah, the Dombey. <laughs> the Dombey. The Dombey. Because I just, I just like, I like first couple of Flow Life Fest, I'd just be like, hey. uh. <laughs> and I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, like zombie, like the. <laughs> and, and so it's basically just a lot of, a lot of practice, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like, so I've been one wheeling for about five years now. I have attended like, too many races to count at this point. And like, I just, I really loved one wheeling. Like it was just my favorite thing to do. So like I would come back from like school and I would just do like 30 Ks of trails in, a, in an afternoon. Wow. And just going up and just going in the woods and just riding one wheels. Cause it's just like, it's the best fun ever. Okay, so, so all, those, all those people out there watching this, they could potentially one day be as skillful as Dom, just by riding lots and lots. Yeah, you just gotta ride like I, like my kind of look on it was like, I just, I rode more than everybody else. Like I rode challenging trails more than most people did. And uh, I kind of, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed races and trying to see how like I could push myself and be a better rider. So like, I mean, maybe one really isn't for everybody, but I think if you go out and you ride like challenging, like single track, that's really fun then you can become a very, very competent and fast one wheel rider. And a lot of it is your ability to fall. Like I, I said yesterday, um, when, when you're one wheeling, you're always in between just decking yourself, like falling, you're always in between falls. Yep. So I mean, some the best one wheelers I know have the ability to just wipe out and just hop back up like it was nothing. Sick. Ah. Well, we better head back now. Yeah, I, got, I have a plane to catch in T minus two hours and eight minutes. Thanks, Dom, that was awesome, bro. Bro, thank you. <laughs> I'm, uh, thank you guys for having me. Phew.